The next drill on the list on the workout is the half turn. So half turn is where you start your right foot in the middle facing this way. And you have your torso facing where you're gonna throw. Remember, have a deep bend in your knees and you're gonna take your left foot and bring it in the arc to there. Yep. The next drill of the workout is a walking half turn. And some might call this a South African. The reason I call it the walking half turn is because of what I want you to think about as you get into it. So you'll start here, one foot in the ring, one foot out of the ring. You can have your torso and arm facing where you're gonna throw. But the reason I call it a walking, south, a walking half turn is because I want you to intentionally step into the middle, be patient, land this foot, and just step into the half turn. Remember the half turn is this is the start position. I wanna walk into it. One of the important things when you do the walking half turn is as you land here in the middle, that you land with your torso upright, facing the sector, rather than landing like this. Again, we want to land on balance in a strong power position. The next drill I want you to do is a one step full turn. So it's where we're actually gonna start in the back of the circle like we would a full turn. Like this, but we're gonna take one step out and then do our walking half turn. The reason we do this step is because this turn on the left and the back is a pretty complicated part. And if we don't learn how to go out and around this left side, we don't have much of a chance of doing the spin very well. So we're gonna take one step out, and then a walking half turn. Oh, <laughs> biffed it. So now we're gonna move on to the actual full turn. This of course is, is what you'll do when you compete and will in the end uh, make you throw the farthest. But one of the difference between the full turn and then the other drills that I showed you in this video is like on the walking half turn and the one step, I'm asking you to step in here and be patient with this landing. But when you do the full turn, we want, as this right leg comes around, we want the left leg to come off. So there's gonna be a period of air time, or what I call switching of the hips. And that's the main difference that I want you to focus on with the full turn. You'll turn out of the back, switch the hips as you come into the middle, and then execute your, your final positions. It looks something like this. Again, as you do the full turns, your biggest priorities are to turn all the way around with your left foot. So to the left faces here and have as upright a posture as you can. Where we get trouble, the full turn is the left foot turns and then like I'll do it too, you'll see it. Kind of drop my left side in the middle. Turn the foot, keep everything upright. And that's what I want you to think about.